when I was a child, we would go to the lake all the time and swim, and I would notice there were sparkly uh, things on the beach, and I started picking them up, and here they are, pieces of glass and pottery, and uh, I just was intrigued with it because it was free, and it was on the lake, it was just my time being down there. And I just became passionate about it. And it's, when you find a very special piece, let's say orange is a very special piece because it's rare. It's the rarest of the beach, in the beach glass world. It makes you almost where you can't wait to get back to the beach the next day. And, and then you find another piece and it's even more intriguing and you find out the history of it. A lot of the pottery will have uh, the pattern of the stamp of the maker still on the bottom of the pottery so you can identify a lot of the pottery that way and um, also by the color of the glass the thickness of the glass and i just turned this little passion into a, a wonderful wow. business and uh here i am we've been doing festivals now this is our fourth year okay. in the business but the collection's over 40 years old and it didn't come to life until uh, December of 2010, where I actually learned how to drill it and turn it into jewelry. And then we got our feet wet and started doing shows. A lot of the, the towns and cities do the promotion. And they, now the festivals, they have music, they have food vendors, uh, they have certain types of, of festivals. Uh, there's antique festivals, so it, it, you gear it towards what your likes are. And this is all coastal art and beach glass, and it's it's just fabulous. And, and this festival, I believe, has been going on for eight years. I'm not real sure. And it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. But they have a National Secret Glass Society that is, you know, because there's beach glass from all around the world. And they have an annual show every year, and it's usually in a different location. So it's very cool, and they get vendors from all over the world there. So it's very cool, but this is more local. Right. I think we have a couple people from Pennsylvania came, a couple people from New York, but most of, most of us all are, are, are local, somewhere in the Ohio area.